as I continue to condition this cell, I'd like to uh, tell you guys a little bit more about the uh, construction. Uh, this is a series cell uh, using the spacers from Ed, Ed Holgate, and uh, the, the plates are 316 stainless. Uh, the uh, acrylic is 3 quarter inch and running about 10% sodium hydroxide. Um, I filled up the uh, water level just below the top of the plates, but then when it starts foaming, uh, the foam goes over the top of the plates. Uh, to show you another thing, I got, uh, here's my Mac Booster. It's uh, built in a water filter housing. And this unit was in the scooter. And the uh, having the booster in the scooter improved the power by quite a bit, but the uh, didn't really do much for gas mileage, but a lot more powerful. So that was cool. R was running that this summer. I uh, have the input line into the air intake area, and I had the uh, had the booster under the seat here. So, anyways, that's that's the scooter. Another thing I'd like to show you guys is this uh, five five horsepower. Uh, lawnmower engine. I rebuilt this for a small engines class and uh, at some point I'd like to try to get this to run on hydrogen. So we'll see how I get some money to work on that. So anyways, there's that. And back to the uh, cell conditioning. Uh, we're running about 13.8 amps at or 13.8 volts at 41.7 amps. Uh, yesterday, this cell is is green. And I tried an experiment. I uh, painted the uh, end plates with enamel paint, see if that would uh, prevent them from being conductive on the surface where you don't want current leak, and they didn't really work. The uh, the paint all came off, and and it muddied up my water so I had to place the water and kind of start over but even with the, the bad water in there I tested the efficiency and it was running about 7.4 mmw so it's pretty good but once it gets conditioned a little bit I'd like to run uh, some more efficiency tests and I'll, I'll post those Just wanted to show you guys how big these bubbles are getting, and when they pop, you can see a big like poof. Kind of cool. Anyways, I'd like to tell you guys a little bit more about uh, what the cell is going to go into. Uh, my mother and father-in-law have been uh, helping me pay for the materials to put this booster in their uh, 92 Toyota Camry. Uh, some of the things that I got to try to optimize the uh, way the car will run, I got a uh, Innovate air fuel ratio um, meter with a wideband O2 sensor. I got a uh, EGT gauge, and also I haven't really heard many of the HHO guys talking about this, but um, there's some research and there's something called a e-managed computer. Uh, it's like a piggyback fuel controller and also control timing. Um, I was planning on trying that out in the this Camry. Uh, this device is mainly, or this computer is mainly for Japanese cars, so I think it'll work pretty good for the, the Camry. We'll see how it works. Uh, something like that works, it might be a lot easier than having to uh, you know, use all the EFIs and have to do all, all the adjustments. This uh, eManage has a uh, computer software program where you can uh, 
adjust the fuel mixture with varying RPM and it'll also allow you to change the timing so I think it'll be, be interesting uh, we'll see